hello welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are gonna be doing a may favorites sorry i haven't filmed in march or april but in march i had uni and it ended in april and then in april i was just kind of wanting to get my head in the way of my small business so i wanted to get back up and running so i hadn't been doing it for a couple of months due to university so that is why I haven't had two of my favourites. But university is now over. I'm. It's now the 1st of June today, actually. No, is it the 1st of June? No, it's the 2nd of June I'm filming this today. And yeah, it's the end of May, so let's get on with the things that I have been, that have been my favourite for this month of May. Uh, so yeah, let's get back into the video. It is so weird sitting here. I don't normally film sit down videos anymore like this so it's kind of weird but yeah let's just get into May's favourites. So in May several things have come about. The first one being I have started reading a lot more. This is the book I'm currently cool reading, a, girl, a Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And I used to be a massive book nerd until about year nine. Um, exams came in and I don't need to focus on that. And as well, I was at a age of reading where I couldn't read the books I could actually read because at that point in my life, I was not diagnosed with dyslexia. So the school made me read books that I had to. So I kind of fell out of love with reading for a long period of time and it wasn't until I got a book for Christmas called Ready Play One as you guys will already know and I literally was like right I'm finishing this in about I've now got time I'm finishing it and I think it was like it was May when I started reading it and I just fell back in love with reading and I was like right I'm gonna find a book I'm gonna go into Waterstones we're just gonna have a look around which I haven't done for ages I used to just look around and look at the blurbs and like see what books I'd like and I found this one A Good Girl's Guide to Murder it's a closed case but it's not really closed because the person who is supposedly guilty isn't guilty at all and this girl is trying to prove it wrong and I've had this since last Thursday and as you can see I've almost finished it it's literally almost done and oh, it's so good if anyone else is dyslexic the personally for myself this is how I like my text to be it is spaced out and widely and it's not really small to the point where I really struggle to read it's so interesting because you get to hear her production logs and her interviews and it's just really really such an easy but really good read i'll read you the blurb to it it is the case is closed five years ago a schoolgirl annie bell was murdered by sal singh the police know he did it everybody in the town knows he did it but having grown up in the same small town that was consumed by murder pippa fitz a boyer isn't so sure when she chooses the case as her topic for her final year project she uncovers she starts to uncover secrets that someone in the town desperately wanted to stay hidden. And if the real killer is still out there, how far will Pippa go to keep the truth? So basically, the blurb says it all. And I just saw it in Waterstones and I was like, I want this, but it's really expensive. It was about eight pounds. And I, I'm a student. I don't really have that much money. And right now I'm not earning. So I decided to go into the library and see if they had it. And they did. So I got it from the library. And yeah this book has just got me back into reading got me so excited for it and I can't wait so I've got the next one already from the library like it's ready to it's like in the way so basically it means like I ordered it online and I'm just waiting for them to tell me it's ready and then at that point I have the motivation to finish it and then I'll finish it and get the next one because the next one she has a true crime podcast and I mean just like yeah they're really easy to read, really, really, oh, it's just so good. I have several books on the go now. I have a bloody reading TikTok to keep me motivated with the reading situation. So if you want to get back into reading and you like murder cases and solvings, this is a really book to go because it's just so easy, such an easy read and you don't have to like think about it. And for me personally with reading, I 
want to think about it but with the actual reading aspect of it I just want it to be really easy and that's what this book is and yeah I've fallen back in love with reading again so that is definitely one of my main favourites and you'll probably I may even start in these favourites having like the books I've read this month and if I'd recommend them or not I think that'd be really fun please comment below if you think that'll be a really fun case but yeah this book just just love it so next thing you guys will already have seen this but it's my switch. So this is my switch case. And I got this this month. And well, it has to just be my favourite, so doesn't it? So this is my switch, if you've never seen it. And it's just a grey switch. I've got a case for it to protect it. I have Pokemon on here. And just so good. So fun, so relaxing. It's just really easy to take around with me. I could take this probably anywhere. And also it's because it's protected I don't have to worry about it going in my bag and things. I remember getting more games for it because right now I only have the one game on it but I'm going to be getting lots more games on this once I have some money in and yeah this has to be one of my favourites. I've been banging on about this for months one to one and I finally have my own. I won't lie to you, reading has taken over the fact I have of the Switch right now but that's mainly because I just want to finish that book. But Switch playing is so good and I can play with multiple people if I know they have Switches and things like that and I just I can't wait to get more games, I can't wait to play even more and I just, I am so happy I paid for this. Like it was an investment but I think this is going to be something I keep for so long and just constantly use and yeah, my Switch, my beauty, my precious. This is just... Oh just has to be one of my favourites. It is in one of my favourites now. It's in the main favourites, but yeah. The Ace and Pokemon Sword and Shield is so good. Also, really fun thing that's coming out. There's a new Pokemon. Thank you, Ambulance. Sorry, it is heat wave in England right now, so my window's having to be open, as well as my other door. So if you hear noises, that is why. Also why I'm in this t-shirt, because it's just baggy and comfy. I couldn't be bothered putting on something tight because it's just being comfortable but like I was saying there's a new Pokemon game coming out called Shiny Pearl and apparently it was like one of the original games that was amazing from back when it was on like DS so I'm getting that but yeah this has to be one of my favourites for this month so the next ones are not really physical they're my only two physical things this month has been very much so watching TV reading playing the Switch and getting my business up and running and all my business releases so there's not really much physical things but one of my things that I've really enjoyed are films and movies this month so one of my favourite TV shows that I have been watching is The Mighty Ducks Game Changer or Game Over or something like that, I'll put it on the screen but I am a hardcore Mighty Ducks fan I have watched the first three movies from the 90s repeatedly. They are some of my favourite films of all time and this new programme came out and well it's not really the same Mighty Ducks because the Mighty Ducks are in it but they're like the Hawks from the originals and so the Mighty Ducks are like yeah if you've never seen it it's really confusing but like in this TV series, not in film, it's TV series the Hawks in the original films are like the evil bullies and the Mighty Ducks have turned into the Hawks whilst the Dope Bothers were put together because so many people are getting kicked off the Mighty Ducks for not being good enough. So this mum created the, this hockey team and accidentally found Gordon Bombay and basically it's about them learning to play hockey and things like that and the ending I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys but oh my god the ending just got to me it was like the old du ducks again which I loved I am definitely definitely gonna be re-watching them because they are some of my favorite films if you've never watched the mighty ducks you need to watch them that's also one of my favorites for me actually the three mighty ducks because them three films just my favourite. So the entire Duck series is one of my favourites in May. Completely and utterly. Now my next TV favourite has to be the Great British Sewing Bee. 
because I've been watching that for now for seven years. It's just come back on and well, it's a program I love. There's three actually very similar ones on the BBC that I love. And one of them is Glow Up, which is to find the great British, like the greatest makeup artist in the UK. Great British Slow and Bee and the Great British Photography Challenge. Them three programs are all similar and is everything I love. I did textiles, graphics and photography in for my A-levels, i.e. why I w loved watching the sewing bee for so many years, why I've loved, why I'm loving watching the new photography one. And the makeup one is just really interesting from my point of view as a creative person. So them three DV programs have to be in my favourites as well. Sorry if that was fly. Them three definitely have to be in my favourites for this month just because oh, they've been so good and I've loved them so much. They're just amazing. And I think that's about it on the TV front. There's not really been any Pacific movies I've been watching just because I've been watching mainly series just to keep me kind of going. But I binge watched them like they were films. So, who knows. But something else that has been my favourite of this month has just been travelling. So I think uh, this month I have been to Bolton, not Bolton, I've been to Buxton this month and I have been to Wales. So travelling has definitely been my favourite thing this month. I will put the vlogs in that are in here. I didn't actually vlog the Welsh one just because I was with my dad and it was just a bit of a, it was like a quick weekend away kind of situation. So yeah, travelling has been one of my favourite things this month and... I just loved it so much and it's just been so good to get out and about and just leave the house, get out of my town and just see things. I, when we went to Wales we mainly went to see my family, kind of reason we went and yeah that's about it of the reasons why I went but yeah travelling has definitely got to be one of my favourites this month. I think that's all my favourites from this month, there's not going to lie there's not many favourites. I don't really know what favourite things are. So I just kind of, I have several things. So yeah, that's all my favourites for this month. I do hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below one of your favourite things from this month. And please subscribe and click the notification bell if you would like to subscribe. If you do want to subscribe, you'll be subscribing to a channel who, I do favourite videos, I do lots of food videos. There's going to be tons more food videos coming very soon for you guys. I'm slowly, slowly going to probably be making this mainly a food related channel just because, well, I love food. So why not make it a food related channel? Just completely. So I think that's what I'm going to start doing. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you do subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Mm -hmm.